हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू डीजी मेंटो क्लास टुडे इज द टॉपिक इज लॉन्गेस्ट सबसिक्वेंस विदाउट रिपीटिंग कैरेक्टर्स सो दिस इज आवर टुडे इज प्रॉब्लम एंड लेट्स फर्स्ट सी व्हाट इज द रियल लाइफ एप्लीकेशन फॉर दिस प्रॉब्लम वेयर दिस प्रॉब्लम इज यूज्ड इन रियल लाइफ लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दैट सो फर्स्ट रियल लाइफ एग्जांपल इज टेक्स्ट प्रोसेसिंग एंड एडिटिंग सो इट इज यूज्ड देयर लाइक ऑटो कंप्लीट फीचर if you have seen in your phones or laptops there it is used after that text compression that is removing repeated characters improves compression ratio so you have seen that in the laptop or in the word file if you are repeating a character there it says to optimize it there it says either to ignore it or to delete it so that is where text compression uses after that plagiarism detection you have been in your college where you have given the uh, various research paper and something like that and your lecturer or teacher must have told you that i will check the plagiarism so there also here the longest subsequence without repeating character this is used which is lrwrc so that helps in identify the unique test sequences after that it is also used in data compression and encryption like losses compression algorithms encryption methods like unique character sequences enhances security so it is also used in that case it is also used in bioinformatics like uh, if we have to talk about dna sequencing it is also used in that way protein structure analysis like repeated character removal helps in structure prediction it is also used in network optimization right root optimization so lrwrc what it do it improves the network routing efficiency now network compression also it reduces by removing repeated character because it reduces data transmission and one of the most used of this application is google's search auto complete so there also it is used it is also used by text editors like grammarly optimize text okay you have used grammarly in that also this longest subsequence without repeating character is used after that we have seen it is used in dna sequencing tools and compression algorithms so you can see that whatever the problem we are learning it has superb real life usage okay now with this let's understand what the problem is and let's understand everything about it how to solve it which algorithm to use it first we will see that in a general way after that we will see it in a little better way and after that we will completely optimize it and it will be optimized on the basis of time complexity and space complexity okay so let's get started our problem is longest sub sequence or sub string without repeating characters now let's understand what is a sub string so this is a string and here for example if we take a c d b z a b c d this is our string now what is the substring we can say here substring means that contiguous uh, contiguous string or we can also say it as consecutive letters or consecutive words okay so that we can say so here we can say that a c d is consecutive and here what is the length of this it is 3 so this we can consider after that what we can say and here the strings here the characters are not repeating c is unique a is unique d is unique this all are unique so let's first start with only c let's first start with the starting which is c so this is a unique character this can be a substring right after that we will move in this direction and let's see one by one how much long we can make a substring without repeating character so we will add here a it is still the longest subsequence okay i'll write it one by one for c 
after that C A, after again we will add D. So C A D it will be. Again I will add B C A D B. Here these all are forming the unique characters, right? And it is not repeating. After that I can take Z. C A D B Z. Up till here everything is fine, right? No one is repeating. C is unique, A is unique, D is unique, B is unique, Z is also unique. Now we are up to here. Let's focus here. Can we just add this? A, C, A, D, B, Z, A. Now can we add this? This is correct? No. This is not correct. Why? Because here you can see that this is not correct because you can see here that A and A are repeating and this is not the unique characters. These are not unique character. This is repeating and that is why we will not consider this as the longest substr substring. But up till here can we say that this is longest substring without repeating character? Absolutely yes. And what is the length of this? So one. 2, 3, 4, 5 and basically this is our answer. But now we have to check all the ways possible so that we can generate all these characters. So we have to traverse every way. Like first we have started with C. Similarly we will do it with A. Now C done. Now we will go with the A. So let's see how many substrings without repeating character we can start when we are starting with A because C is done and we found out that 5 is the longest substring we can make. So here A is there. After that we can add A, D. After that we can add A, D, B. We can add A, D, B, Z. After that can we add A, D, B, Z, A. Is this allowed? No, it's not. Why? Because here A and A are repeating. That is why this is cancelled. Now what is the longest substring we can make? 1, 2, 3, 4. But with A we can only make 4. But with C we are able to form the longest substring. And that is of length 5. Similarly we will check with B. So we can make B, B, Z, B, Z, A. After that B, Z, A. A, B. This is also not allowed. Why? Because here B and B are repeating. That is why this is not allowed. Up till here we can make. So that is why here the longest substring without repeating character is 3. Let's now go with the Z. Let's see we can make with the Z how many characters we can make with the Z. So it is Z, Z, A. Z, A, B, after that Z, A, B, C, after that Z, A, B, C, D and that's the end. So with the Z we can make, we can make 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here also the longest substring is 5. So we can say that for this problem, the longest substring without repeating character is 5. Okay, now if we will calculate for A, definitely it will give us the less length than 5. For B also it is the same, for C also it is the same and for D also it is the same. That's why we will not check it further because eventually it is it will be giving to give us the less number of length which we don't want because the problem is of longest substring. Now let's write the pseudo code for this so that you can write it in your own language. Whatever the language you understand, you can write that. And also I'll write uh, the code. I'll give the uh, link of the code in the description below. Okay, so you can check that. So I'll write, I'll explain you with the pseudo code here. S was C A D C A D B Z A B C D. So first we need two loops. Two variables we need. First will be I and the second will be J. Because if I is pointing to C, J will traverse the complete string to check the uniqueness. 
that is why two for loop here we are required first is so first for loop i equals to 0 i smaller than n i plus plus after that here we will make a sub variable where i am going to put empty string because eventually it is going to add string by character by character that is why after that here it will be j till i so first i is here j is here so it will consider c i is here j is here so it will consider consider c a so up till where j is there up till where i is there that much it will calculate so after that j smaller than equal uh, smaller than n and j plus plus once we came into j loop we are going to add the characters here so sub equals to sub plus s of j so it will append every character by character with the uniqueness okay so that is how we are going to check so let's see what else we can do it for here now what we can see here that so we are done with this now after that the thing is now we have to check if it is forming c c a c a d c a d b after that c a d b z and c a d b z a so now this is our task to identify that it should be unique and here itself the string should stop and should make the point of the longest substring it should calculate that so for that what we are going to take we are going to take a hash and that hash will have 0 to 255 columns okay or we can say the boxes 0 to 255 because it will store the character okay and what we are going to do here is that we are going to make a variable which is int val and there what we are going to do we are going to assign it to a and what is the ascii value of a it will be 97 so where it will it will it will start it will assign that value to it are you getting me so what basically we are going to do here we are just going to change it so now hash we will take so hash of 256 we are going to take which is every value for the hash is now going to assign with 000 okay as we have written here so it will be 0 0 0 0 0 and so on 0 after that we are going to check that if hash of s of j is equals to equals to 1 after that we are going to break this so we will iterate we will keep it and whoever we found that it is equals to 1 there and then itself we are going to break it that means it is repeating so that is one check which we will perform after that we will what we will do so here if suppose let's suppose here i and j is there here is i and here is j so basically this is the length this is the length so for length how we will check so length the formula for length here will be which is equals to j minus i plus 1 so that's how we will check the length so here it will start with 0 1 2 3 4 so here what we will say 4 minus 0 plus 1 so the length is 5 so as we calculated the length is, uh, length is 5 and from this formula also we can say that and once we have calculated the length then we will write here we will write here max length which is maximum of length which we have found out and the max length this will be the thing and here hash hash of s of j will be 1 so we will update whenever we will find the value we will update it to s of j of s of j equals to 1 this is what we will update and here max length we are going to take 0 max length we are going to take 0 
so that is the whole approach we are going to take so you can see here that two for loops we have taken i and j initially like this it will move then we have seen that we have taken the help of hash okay there we have assigned some space after that we have taken hash uh, s of j here we are going to check if it is equals to 1 we will be breaking it after that we will check the length and we will check that whichever max length we have found out then is it equals to is it greater than max or not so max and length we are going to take and we are going to assign it into our max so that is the whole process we are going to take and if this is not correct then we will uh, we will just append instead of 0 we will append here 1 whenever we found out that it is repeating so total let's say what is the time complexity for this program can we say that the time complexity is n and n which is n square because two for loops are there one inside another so here the time complexity will be n square and what is the space complexity here so the space complexity will be big o of 256 because that much hash space we have taken so that is what that is why we will consider the space like that so still the interviewer will not be happy because the time complexity is n square he or she will expect you to be the time complexity either n log n or n log n something so that is why we have to more optimize it so how we can more optimize it whenever we see a string so the problem is all about substring so whenever we see a substring you should know that we have to start with two pointer and sliding window approach so it is like that we can say so whenever we find a substring then we will think about two pointers and sliding window approach so let's see let's go towards the optimal approach for this let's make the time complexity from n square to somewhere to n so that is our task now so for that you need to understand this algorithm so let's get started with this starting we are going to take the help of hash again so this is our string which is c a d b z a c d a b c d and the index value for this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so this is our string and the index values after that what we are going to do we are going to assign two pointers as i said that this is two pointers in sliding window approach we are going to follow here so basically we are going to take two pointers which is left and right and they are pointing to zero left and right and they are pointing to zero and we are also going to take the help of hash map so this is our hash and here two values we are going to assign first is character and the second is index and here we are going to assign a variable which is max len which is equals to zero so that is our thing after that length formula is r minus l plus 1 r minus l plus 1 so this is our length formula now you can see here our r our l and r are pointing to the same so what is here length which is 0 minus 0 plus 1 so it is length is greater than max length so as you can see here in the in the code whenever whoever is the maximum that we are going to update in the max length so here in this case l ln is greater than max length so that is why here in this place we are going to update it to 1 so that is the thing we are going to do and here with this index we are going to put this into our hash like c and 0 that means they are visited character is c and the index value is 0 so here we are visited with this after that what we will do we will move our pointers towards the left one and now here l will be in this place only r will move to the next position which is 1 here r will be there now let's see this let's calculate the length here so now our r is 1 length is 0 plus 1 
so this is equals to 2 right and now here we will update 1 to 2 okay and here in this place what we are going to do we are going to put a and 1 because here a is not there so that's why we are going to up, we are going to dump this a into the hash map with the index 1 again the r will move ahead and we have to again calculate the len so r will move ahead so here will be our r now let's again calculate the len so which is 2 minus 0 plus 1 so what is the value the value is 3 and again this is greater than max length so again we are going to update this 2 to 3 so this 2 will be updated to 3 here and now as you can see that d is not in the place so we are going to put the d and its index value which is 2 again we will move our pointer ahead which is r like this now let's calculate the value our value is 3 minus 0 plus 1 now what is the r value here 4 again we are going to update this 3 by 4 and as you can see that b value is not there so what we are going to do b and we will put the index value also which is 3 i hope everyone is getting this again we are going to move our pointer ahead and again we are going to calculate the value so now r minus 0 so which is 4 minus 0 plus 1 this is 5 now the max len here the len is greater than the max len again it is going to update to 5 and here now we are going to store z with the index 4 now there is a twist you have to see this very very properly what we are going to do here first i am writing this thing l equals to map of s r of plus 1 so that we are going to see now this is a very nice twist and you have to see that what will come okay so look this carefully now when the r will move ahead here when the r will move ahead here what will happen just see carefully and then i'll tell you why i have written this when we will when the r will move ahead here so what will be the value what will be the length now when it will move ahead then we can say that a is already present a is already present okay so that is why it will break as you can see that here 111 one, one is there we will break and what we will do the i was at the zeroth place it will increment to 1 okay it will increment its value but do we have to increment it by 1 no because if we will increment our l here so what will happen again this will get repeated so what we have to do whenever we have find out that here at the first place at the when the a index was 1 after that we are feeling that here repetition is happening so we have to do here 1 plus 1 that means 2 so here we can find out find out that whatever our r is there plus 1 that we have to do in our l are you getting this what i am saying that we will not increment the l by 1 but instead we will increment the l by we will increment our l value by this one which is our l so l this l now will be incremented by s of r plus 1 so it will not be incremented by this it will be incremented here which is 2 and here also we can check so here we have found out that a is there so in the next place we will increment so our window will now be like this l to r like this the window will be b to a it will be like this and after what we have to do we have to change our a with the next position okay so whenever we have find out here a now we have forgotten this a that it was one we have found out the new a that we are going to update in this place so that is the change we are going to make whenever we are we will find a repeated character we are going to shift our l and after immediately after that we are going to update the new index of a which is phi u here 
which is 5 here and why we are updating this that also I will tell you. Now let's move ahead with this. Now here we have found out that our max length is 5 but again we have to check with the L. Again the L will iterate. So let's see that. So now the window of L will be from here to here. Okay, this will be our L window. So this is our new L and this is our, again we are going to check with this that we will move ahead our R. So here our R was, here again we will move the R here and we can find out that here again the character is repeating. So what we will do, we will shift, we will come out of, uh, we will come out because a B is there and we can find out a B here. So directly what here will happen, break will happen, we will calculate the length and the length here will be, length here will be, what will be the length? R which is 6 minus 2, so actually this will not be here, it will be here which is 5 minus 2 which is 3 plus 1, 4 and here the length calculation will be 4 and we will not update it because already the max length is greater. Whenever the length is greater at that time we are going to update. Here we will not update because here length is not the maximum one. Now what will happen here? Again L is going to update now but at what place? So here we can find out that B is a third index. So third index plus one we are going to do. So third index plus one will be the fourth index. So instead of here L, now our L will point here and our R will be here itself, right? So that is how we are going to update our L. Now again the window is up till here. So we will change the window. Now we will move our R here. And again we cannot find any repeating characters here till this to this. And uh, yeah, when I have moved the L here, so I'll update my B to the latest index, which is 6. Okay, it will be updated to 6. Now, I can see here C. C value is there, but you can see that C value indexes. So C value is already present here. It is already present in the hash map. But here, this is the case which you have to find that we will not see the, we will not, we have to consider the C here. Why? Because with our eyes, we can see that Z, A, B, C, D is completely unique. But the computer will found out that C is already there and here also C is coming. That means it is repeated. But no, it will not be the case. Why? Because we will also apply one condition that is map, is map. S of R is greater than equals to L and if this is the case then we will consider. So here this S of R which is 7 and this is greater than our length. This is greater than our L which is 4. That means this is the old C which we are not considering because our window is already started from 4. Our window is started from 4. That is the check we are going to do. Because if the window is started here, no matter whatever the character, even if, if it is repeated, coming, that then also it is of no use. So that is why we are going to check that this C, which we have found out, where our window is starting, where our L is starting. If our L is starting from here, definitely we are not going to take this C. But our L is starting from here, so we will consider it. So that is why this C is considered. And when the C is considered, then this C of 0 will change it to the lattice index, which is 7. After that, again, we are going to move our R here. And this is the unique character. Like no character is repeated. Like D is there. But again here, this D is smaller than, okay, this whatever the L is there, it is greater than the D, L value. So that is why we are not going to consider it, this D. So I hope you got to understand. And now if we will check for L and R, so 8 minus 4 plus 1. So here, this is 4 plus 1, 5. But this 5 is already there, so we will not update it. And finally, as in this line, we will return our max length. Okay, so I forgot to write here. But here, we will return our max length.
finally we will return our max len after this which is this one okay so our value will be 5 i hope you understood this now let's write a pseudo code for this just to understand i hope you got to understand the complete algo but now let's write a pseudo code for 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 this and after that we are going to analyze the time complexity for this code so here one function we are going to take which is string of s the string which will be provided to us and here the string again i am taking just to explain you all s is equals to c a d b z a b c d this is the string we are going to consider and let's mark the index also for this which is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 then we are going to use a hash which is of 250 and this hash we are going to so in this hash all the values are present as minus minus 1 okay and n equals to s dot size or n is s dot size l is pointing to uh, zeroth index r is pointing to zeroth index max length the value here is 0 now we are going to take a while loop where we are going to check that whether our r is smaller than n or not so that we should not over size it okay whatever the n size is that we should not get exceed of that so after that only we have to stop here then we have to check that if r hash of s of r is greater than equals to l or not okay so first we are going to check that whether it is minus 1 or not that means here we can say that if it is so if it is not greater than equals to minus 1 what we can say here that the character we can say here if this is true we can say that the character is present in the in the map okay after that again if it is present in the map then what we are going to see that l we are going to see that if hash of s of hash of s of r greater than equals to l that what is our length okay if the window is starting here so no matter the character is repeating we don't care so that is why if it is present in the character if it is the character is present in the map then we are going to check that where the window is starting okay so that is the first check and if it is not if it is the old value then what we are going to do okay l equals to hash of so if this is checked then hash of s of r plus 1 this is what we are going to do after that we are going to come out of this loop and we are going to see the length which is r minus l plus 1 and after that what we are going to do we are going to update our max length which is maximum of length and max length so whatever is the maximum that we are going to see after all of this what we are going to do hash of s of r which is r so we are going to update this with r and we will simply do out of after this we will simply do our r plus plus okay we are we always move our r so we will do this r plus plus and after all this we will return we will finally return our max len and yes the code is completed okay everyone now let's see let's analyze the time complexity for this so the time complexity for this is c up till n we are going to iterate means in one single iteration we are going to do we are going to start with r 
R is moving to every character, character by character till n. This is only the while loop. So that is why the time complexity here will be big O of n. But now you will say that what about the hash map we are going to use? We have used. What about that space complexity? So I will tell that the hash is the constant here because we are just using 256 places. This is 256 places only we are going to use. So that is the constant one. So that is why about this hash, we will say that the time complexity for this is 1. And here the loop is ending. So that is why the time complexity for this program is 1. Okay, so the time complexity for this program is n. Time complexity for the hash is 1. Let's talk about the space complexity. Then you all can tell me the space complexity will be 256 because of the hash map which we are using. Okay, so I hope the problem is absolutely clear with everything, with the code also. And for the better understanding, what you can do, you can just write this code in the compiler, which I'll give you in the description below. You can just write the code and you can check that whether you are passing all the test cases or not. And definitely with this code, you will be able to pass all the test cases. Thank you so much for this problem. Now let's see the next problem.